Hi everyone, this is Xuxia from China Mobile. In this part, I will introduce the lessons learned from cognitive design of network function. This is the agenda of our topic. Firstly, we will introduce the designing strategy of cloud native network functions. Secondly, we take the user plan function UPF as an example and describe the microservice design of it. Thirdly, we separate the data and business logic to make UPF as a stateless network function. Then a telco load balance is explored to support UPF. As the network function is divided into multiple microservices, we set up a specific telco monitor system of UPF. Lastly, as XG Vela provides a configuration management as a service SEMA system, we integrate the SEMA system into UPF to test its feasibility. So, what kind of network functions can be called cloud native design? From the top of the picture, we should break the monolith architecture of the network function into microservices uh, in order to make the network function more flexible. Then, we refine common capabilities required by upper layer services as pass function on platform layer. For the infrastructure layer, we use containers to deploy network functions. This is our goal to achieve Telco Cloud native network functions. This picture describes our microservice design of UPF. We separate the monolith UPF into four parts. The green one on the left side is UPF OM, which is responsible for operation and management. The orange modules are UPF PFCP and UPF Explorer. U UPF PF uh, PFCP communicates to SMF, which represents the N4 interface. UPF Explorer module communicates with Mobile Edge Computing Platform, which is responsible for communicating with Edge UPF or the Open Capability Interface. The blue box indicates UPF U, which is responsible for data plan communication, represents the N3 interface. We separate the UPF according to the following principles. Firstly, is the 3GPP specification. We cannot change the functionality and the protocols UPF. Secondly, we should obey the multiple plan isolation principles. Uh, the microservice design should follow single responsibility and the interface in the independent principle. Most of the cloud native applications are stateless. We try to separate the data and the business logic. Moreover, we focus on UPF flexibility, read the PDU session from database in order to achieve elastic scaling. This picture indicates how we deploy the microservice UPF. The network function is de uh, de uh, deployed into four clusters. It is difficult to achieve all the modules to be stateless. As the N4 server cluster is used to connect to SMF, <coughs> it stores the connection with SMF and the PDU session. The OM cluster also stores application management data. We only make UPF U a stateless module. The UPF PFCP cluster stores the PDU session into an external database, and the UPF U reads the stored data and tra transfer the PDU session into the right PDF U instance. Therefore, UPF PFCP. UPF Explorer, UPF OM are state, uh, stateful applications, and the above microservices are deployed as stateful set cluster to achieve high availability. UPF U is a stateless application. It is deployed in uh, it is deployed in uh, deployment mode mode, and high availability is achieved through multiple copies. This in, uh, indicates the stateless design of UPF U. The PDU session, the PDU session of UE, are extracted from control and data plan. We use an individual Redis data center to store it. As the PDF U is stateless, if one instance fails, we will initialize a new one and read the same PDU session from Redis instance. 
The advantage of stateless application is flexible. The stateless UPFU can be flexible extended. PDU sessions can also be scheduled to different instances. As telco business always need to be achieve high availability, such as finite ability, availability, we design a high performance Redis cluster. This picture describes how we deploy the Redis cluster. It is a master, multiple master and multiple slave cluster, in, and, a, and it is a point-to-point -point architecture without a single central node to avoid single node failure. The green dotted line represents the gossip protocol that is used to transfer the message to maintain the cluster topology and the cluster metadata. All the data are transferred through the proxy to read or write. When a UPF PFCP needs to write a data into Redis cluster, it firstly communicates with the Redis proxy and writes the key value data into one couple of master slave. If the UPF U wants to read a data, it communicates with the proxy that randomly sends query statement to one of the master node. If the master node stores the key value, it returns the right value. If not, <clears throat> the node will return a move message that carries the right, the right the target node information. The proxy will resend the uh, request to the right target. The multiple master uh, and the multiple slave cast design is to improve the reading writing efficiency and reliability. This picture indicates uh, uh, in order to ensure high availability, if the master node fails, how we recover it? <coughs> in our implementation, we use one-to-one -one backup strategy. A master node has only one slave node. The slave node copies all the data from the master node. In our implementation, we use manual scaling to add a couple of new master slaves to the existing cluster. A Redis cluster only has uh, 16,384 slots, numbering from 0 to 16,383. When the cluster is working normally, each master node in the cluster will be responsible for part of the slots. When a key is mapped to a slot <coughs> that the master is responsible for it, then the master is responsible for providing service for this key. If we want to scale the cluster, we add a new cap of master and slave node. At this time, the slot has uh, not allocated to this new capital. The slot meteration <coughs> starts to move some existing slots to the new master nodes. Some existing key value also migrates to this node. Lastly, the cluster has four couples of a master slave. In order to ensure data balance among multiple master nodes, <coughs> the number of slots <coughs> sorry, is the ratio of the total number of slots to the number of master nodes. <coughs> the code process is transparent to the application. In order to meet the requirements of flexibility and reliability, UPF also needs to balance and distribute workloads to multiple processing units for operation, just like web applications. In open source and commercial software, uh, there are already some successful load balancing software such as Envoy and Nginx. However, these softwares only support three-layer IP 4-layer TCP UDP and 7-layer HTTP load balancing and cannot support UPF load balancing in the city field. Then we develop a telco load balancer that fits UPF, satisfying the packet forwarding control protocol PFCP that transfers between, between UPF and SMF and the GRPC, G, G, uh, GPRS turning to users which is called GTPU protocols that transfers between UPF and the radio access network. For the existing open source Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes load balancer is pro uh, provided for cloud providers and the load balancing services of existing public cloud vendors 
only provide three layer, four layer, and seven layer HTTP load balancing services. UPF is a high data <coughs> throughput application. Compared with web, web applications, it has higher requirements for data forwarding performance. UPF requires multiple network planes. Port IP can only use the signaling planes with low performance requirements, and the data plane should use physical network hard virtualization technology to accelerate, to accelerate data plane processing. We develop an enhanced load balancer as a Kubernetes service, which is called ELB. ELB is the implementation of Kubernetes load balancer for Telco Cloud. It has telecommunication protocol identification, high VPP throughput, and support specific city multiple protocol types, such as HTTP protocol on the control plane, PFCP and the GTPU protocol on the user plane, and the function of UE and UE session information identification and data distribution and binding based on UE information. In our ELB cluster, we set up a ELB controller which is deployed in Kubernetes master node and several ELB worker nodes. ELB controller monitors the creation, modification, delayed operation. Then it generates forwarding rules, transfers the rules to related ELB worker nodes. ELB worker nodes are treated as data plane gateway of north source traffic of Kubernetes cluster. <coughs> ELB worker nodes transfer control and data plane traffic to UPF PFCP and uh, UPF U instances according to specific load balance algorithm. The control plane is mainly composed of ELB controller which dynamically generates and configures load balancing distribution rules according to the creation of UPF microservice in Kubernetes. ELB controller sends a load balancing distribution rules to ELB worker, and the ELB worker forwards UE contact and other data message to a certain service instance of UPF according to the weight requirements and the distribution rules. In this picture, we will start to introduce the telco monitor system. This is the overview. The monitor system is based on Prometheus, focusing on data collection, storage, query, display, and post-processing. Prometheus collects basic platform, container, and network function indicators. Post-processing includes time convergence of indicators, spatial convergence, setting of indicator alarm routes, and the root cause analysis. The monitoring platform is based on <coughs> Prometheus, focusing on collection, <coughs> sorry, storage, query, display, and the post-processing of monitoring indicators. Prometheus collects basic platform indicators container indicators and performance indicators of the in network function itself. Post-processing includes time convergence of an indicator, spatial convergence, setting of indicator alarm routes, and the root cause analysis. This is the alert system. It includes the performance alert, log alert, and network function alert. For the performance alert, Alert Manager completes the notification of performance data and sends alerts to the co corresponding receiving backend. For the Log Alert, Elastic Alert completes the Log Alert notification and sends alerts to the relevant receiving backend according to the webhook configured by the user. Lastly, for the alerts reported by Network Function, Network Function can directly report alarms and the alarm data will be stored in ES. Elasticsearch. OMC is responsible for taking out the alarm information in ES and uh, visualizing it. This is the log system. We use Firebit to allocate the log reported by container and the whole system. Firebit is a lightweight log collector that monitors and collects log files directly. The log information <coughs> collected by Firebit will be sent to Kafka. Kafka can play a role <coughs> in cutting peaks and uh, flat valleys. 
effectively reduce the impact of a large number of transmission on the system. Logstash is responsible for transmitting data information from the input end to the pipeline uh, of the pipeline to the out output, uh, and provides a powerful filter to meet various scenarios. Elasticsearch is an analysis engine designing for horizon expansion, high reliability, and management convenience. Kibana can represent data in the form of graphs and has an exten extensible user interface. Lastly, we, we will use the open source code Extravela in the UPF configuration process and integrate the configuration as a service of CMOS with UPF. This is the use case. The network administrator configures the IP address of N3, N4, N6 interface of UPF through net, or NetConf or CLI interface. The SIM container is deployed in the SIM port as the UPF microservice container according to the sidecar model. The configuration management service ConfD or NetOPR2 will update the configuration information to ETCD. SIM watches new UPF configuration data in ETCD. SIM calls the Redfall API of UPF OM and issues the configuration commands. UPF OM re returns the configuration command result of SIM. SIM informs CMOS that the configuration operation is successful through Kafka. That's all. Thanks for your listening.